I'm standing at the far west end of the Galveston Seawall, which is actually the boundary between what's commonly referred to as the west end of the island, which is in this direction, and the east end of the island in that direction. Before this part of the seawall was constructed, at the turn of the last century, around 1900, the beach actually extended about 100 feet seaward of the seawall. Today, the beach has actually retreated an additional 400 feet. So this rate of erosion, five feet per year, is actually the average rate of erosion for the west end of the island here. Of course, these long-term rates of erosion are greatly exacerbated during hurricanes, which can result in as much as 50 feet or even more of erosion in a single event. With that uncertain future, accelerated sea level rise, minimum sediment supply, unknown number of hurricanes that'll strike this area over the next century, the west end of Galveston Island has an uncertain future. Given that uncertain future, Rice University has undertaken a study and sustainable development of Galveston Island in search of more sustainable strategies for the island. The Atlas of Sustainable Strategies for Galveston Island is based on hard science. Science that deals with what is the best projections for sea level rise into the future and what are the most likely rates of coastal erosion in the coming next few decades. Where is the island thickest and widest and most uh, protected from hurricane impact? And where is it le most vulnerable to hurricane impact? John Anderson and his research team collaborated with a studio at the Rice School of Architecture where the students un began to understand the scientific principles at work around the island and then developed urban and architectural proposals that projected alternative futures for the way an island like Galveston could be developed and different ways of living in these imperiled coastal environments. Well, I think planning is always a great way to, you know, project yourself into the future. And um, this is such a dynamic place we live on. It's not like building even 15 miles inland or 20 or 50. Or, it's just, it's always changing. It'll change from today to tomorrow. In terms of demographics, in terms of, of the development of the greater Houston area, there's a lot of potential. The problem is to create a place where that is a, a beacon uh, and leads, in a, in a sense, the world uh, about what, the, what a coastal community should be in the 21st century. I believe Galveston Island has a great future, but I don't think it's in the way we inhabit the island now. I think the future of Galveston Island is different, and I think it lies here on the east end, which is a much more formidable part of the island. It's higher, it's thicker, it's wider, and so for all those reasons, this is a much more protected part of the island, much more sustainable part of the island, and I think in the future this is where the development of the island needs to be.